Welcome to Summit Research. We're gonna show you today how to operate the pig filter. First things first is we're gonna show you our compressor we're gonna use for the demonstration, how it's set up. You really only need one size smaller than this, but this one's designed to run multiple units on a single phase 220 outlet. So we have a seven and a half horsepower compressor, GX5. Uh, on this compressor, we have an oil water separator. We have a pressure regulator, which we'll use from here to run the pig. And then we have a uh, oiler in case we want to keep the piston oiled on a timely basis. So safety's first. We're going to start to turn everything on and let the system pressurize. In this case, we're using a CDA system to prevent the system from feeding moisture into the pump, which will make the pump run faster and cleaner. So the way that we set up the compressor is it's gonna sit at 150 PSI fully loaded, and then we're going to crank down the regulator from between 50 PSI to about 100 PSI. Usually you'll be around 60 to 90 maximum. First things first, you're gonna to wanna to install your output line with the quick disconnect system on the plate side. You are then gonna install the inlet side on the bottom of the manifold here. And you'll have this hose for that. And on the pig, which is not supplied, you need to get a barb nipple with a quarter inch valve and your connector so you can install your air. Now, we're gonna to start to install the filter papers and show you how easy it is to run this. We're gonna be using a general 20 micron before we polish. This is a cotton paper, all natural. Okay, so the next step is really, really important. If you don't follow these steps, you're gonna end up having a nightmare. First things first is you wanna make sure all your papers are down with your plates. The easiest way to do it is using a rubber mallet and tap all your plates down. Now you're gonna to wanna to apply a mild amount of pressure, not much. Just keep moving the plates, there's a lot of weight here. It's about 250 pounds. Every time you move it down, you will align the plates. Now we're gonna come in and give it about a turn. They will move quite a bit with the ram. Secure the pressure, open it up. Start moving it away from the ram into the plates. And now that we're attached, we're gonna hit about 4,000 PSI. You can't see, but the, there's about a half inch of gap on the other side of the screws here, which is what's keeping everything really tight, pushing the plates together. Okay, so now that we're back, we have everything set up. We have our feed material. Everything's ready to go. We're gonna try and prime the system. Uh, it's pretty easy. What we're gonna do first is fill up this bottle and get it into the system. Next thing, we're gonna run the system to make sure there's no leaks, which is clean alcohol, which will be the same alcohol used to push the remainder of the product out with the cake. Pull it upside down. It'll start priming. Replace the hose. So now that we're primed, we're gonna shut it off. Make sure there's no leaks and inspect everything. Bring it down to 4,000 PSI again. Ensure that we're running leak free. Now we're gonna switch hoses. One hose is gonna to go to our output side and the other hose is gonna go into the product that needs to be filtered. And there we go. So now we're flowing. Real time winterization speeds at room temperature. I don't know if you guys can see this. That's what's coming out of the bin. Let's 
see if you can bring that camera in here to see the difference in the material. It's all room temperature. Now we're gonna flush the cake. So we can end this system now. And what we're gonna do for this, uh, for this next part of the video is we're gonna replace them with, um, with a experimental half micron paper to show you the flow when we polish at room temperature. So let me empty the system out first. going to service this pig filter as you saw us running through room temperature product and we're going to run it with a 0 0.05 micron polished paper at room temperature before we winterize it to try and get as much of everything out as possible. All right so as you can see the first uh, wax sections at room temperature have lined the papers so we just take it and rinse it off in a bucket. Pull the papers and start putting it in line, one by one. And it is a little bit easier to do it with a sprayer. We wanna show you guys how it is, real hand, real time. So you can see that these papers have already collected a lot of waxes and a lot of particulate, even at room temperature. All right, so now we're gonna start with our multi-density uh, papers to try and get to half a micron. We're gonna expand the system back out like we did initially. So how the multi-density system works is you have a backing sheet and you have an actual high flow, low micron sheet. So first we put the backing sheet in place with the low flow mic with the high flow micron high flow low micron sheet so the backing paper goes behind it and the low micron sheet goes in front so it doesn't blow the sheet out we'll repeat this step for each one of these polished papers which can be used at any temperature but we're gonna especially be using it right now under room temperature to show you how effective this new paper is. So these papers are actually experimental. We're about to release them. We just wanna make sure that all of our customers are satisfied with using them. So we wanna be able to show you guys this new form of filtration. What's really unique is it's a multi-density setup. So you have one paper that's like 40 or 50 microns that serves nearly no purpose but to back the sheet that is very, um, it's, a, it's a smaller sheet, sorry, it's a smaller micron sheet that's very high flow. Okay, so now we're here, we're realigning the pig again. Uh, we're going to be running the first of its kind, stage three multi-density paper for polishing. This can be done at room temperature. This can be done at low temperatures, but we wanted to show you what our half micron uh, paper will do in this pig. All 
Now, this is multi-density, so you have to be very careful not to cut them. But we also want to get a high pressure because these are soft papers. So now we're at 4,000 PSI. We're going to move our uh, buckets over here a little bit. All right, so now we're just going to have him hold this because a little bit more pressure is going to come behind the system. I've lowered it from 60 PSI to 50, and we're going to start pulling from one dirty bucket that's already been rough filtered into the half micron filter papers, and we're going to start off slow. I'm going to dial this back a little bit so we can control the flow. Now we're going to pull as much particulate out of the system as possible prior to winterization to get the most winterization steps possible. Oh Go and pull it out so they can see the flow at half a micron. The sober flow and half micron particulate retention. So we're going to do the same thing as we're going to run this through and then we're going to push the cake out. All the material in the cake is going to come out. All right, now we're going to run clean alcohol through the cake so we can pull all the extract out of it. And you can see it bucket to bucket. Watch. See how it's dirty? I'm going to do the other one in front of it. Is that clean? We're going to shut this down and we're going to transfer it over so you guys can see how we clean the cake out to get all the extract out of it. This is very unique. Most filters can't do this. Grab the other alcohol. So run a little bit more through here. Push the rest through. Okay. Now let it drain out. Hold the hose up like this. Now we're going to pull this system apart to get you in focus here, and we're going to show you what this uh, half micron at room temperature has caught. So if you bring in that camera close, we're going to show you everything that these papers have pulled out, which means they pull out typically a, little, a lot more when they're winterized. So that's half a micron. So we just went from about a rough 20 micron down to a half micron, we pulled everything out of the flow with that, with, with this uh, combination multi-density paper. Okay, now we're gonna do another really interesting pull. This is using a silica as filtration. It's gonna bed it out. So we're gonna start by putting in a stage two paper. Okay, so now we're going to do a multi-step process with a media that's going to be used to uh, pull out further contamination. So when you winterize, you can winterize better, or you can also do this in the, winter in the winterizing procedure. Put this back on here. Bring our pressure back to 4,000 PSI. All right, I don't need those first. So we're gonna use a method with silica that is going to help cake up the paper and pull more contamination out. Pull all this stuff out of the way. Get it. 
Okay, so we're gonna drop in a little bit of silica. We're probably gonna have about three buckets to work with. So we're gonna split this batch up in about three amounts. So first we get in the first amount. And what Mike's gonna do here is he's gonna mix it up so it's suspended. Go ahead and mix it. So now that Mike is suspending the silica in the solution, he's gonna start to create uh, a suspended solution that can start lining the papers as it goes and it will start to pull more of those heavy waxes or particulate out. This is really useful for green material. So we're going to start now. And Bryce is going to wash the discharge side to make sure that we're just filling up jugs ready for winterization. This can be done prior to winterization or after. Now we're going to prep the next bucket. So now that we're prepping the next bucket, we're going to go into it. Keep mixing it. And you can visually tell the clarity of the liquid coming out, even though it hasn't been winterized and the color hasn't been removed, there is no particulate coming out of the system. And now he's going to switch over to the other bin. Now Mike's keeping this moving non-stop so we can line that paper continually. Got the other one. And now the last bucket, and we don't need to put too much silica in here because we've already lined our uh, system with plenty of silica. And then we're going to flush it with clean alcohol. Look, go, stop, go grab your clean alcohol. And this will pull everything out of that cake as well. So our cake's flush, now we're gonna flush the system. There's a lot of volume, there's about four gallons or so into this. Look at that, all the oil's out. So this is real time speeds with the whole entire thing filled with sand. That's pretty impressive. At eight microns filled with sand, flushing the material out all the way through. Put that in that so we can take it home in that thing. Okay. And that's uh, the easiest tips and tricks on running a pig filter. We will be coming back at a later point in time to show you uh, what it's like after this product has been completely winterized and frozen out. We'll put it through once on a uh, stage two uh, paper and we'll show you guys how that works. Thank you.